Welcome to Santino Brothers. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. How's it going everybody? My name is Darius Jackson, 21 years old. Birthday's actually gonna be coming up in a couple days, but uh, I'm excited to be here. Nice. All right, uh, so what's it been like training with Santino Brothers so far? Uh, it's, the training is pretty tough. It's pretty hard right now. Uh, I'm able to push through it though. It's something, it's nothing new, but uh, it, since I've been out of it for a while, you know, the conditioning is pretty intense and uh, I've been getting better each, by each practice, although this is my second one, but I feel like I'm already getting in shape. <laughs> so you said this is what, you've been out of it for a while. Have you done anything like this before? Like, uh, Yeah, I played football back in high school. Uh, I was pretty decent, got off for a scholarship to Fresno State. Uh, couple, um, Ms. Q's happened over there, sent me back over here, and uh, ever since I stopped playing football, I've been inactive for a couple years, so that's why uh, now recently getting back into this is getting me back in shape. Okay, so other than getting back into shape, is there anything else that made you decide to get, take a shot at this? Well, obviously the uh, love and the passion for wrestling, watching it on TV. Um, grown, everybody's grown up watching wrestling. Well, people that have done wrestling obviously has been inspired as they were kids. So uh, watching that and realizing that uh, it's something I can actually do if I work hard enough, you know, in my job, find out I can go ahead and pay for wrestling classes. Uh, I looked up great, uh, great training where to go to and I found Santino Bros. I've seen a lot of their videos already on YouTube which uh, led me to come over here and uh, part uh, participate in this. All right, cool. School stuff. Um, as far as inspirations go, do you have any any like particular favorite wrestlers that you follow, or anything you take influence from? Uh, my favorite wrestler in the ring would be like Bray Wyatt. I really like his character and all around. He's just a stud in the ring. But uh, for someone to inspire me, and uh, I'll, it's more so me connected to him would most likely be Randy Orton just because uh, height wise I, I match his height and you know I'm not too far from matching his weight as well so uh, and the way he carries himself his swagger that he has that suits me more so that's what kind of inspired me to follow that kind of character. Alright and final question what are you looking to accomplish during your tenure here? I'm looking to accomplish uh, I want to have fun here I want to go ahead and uh, actually make a dream come true become a professional wrestler uh, you know, it doesn't matter where I'm at, I would love to go ahead and uh, partake in an actual match, you know, with people watching, and that'll be something great that I could actually say, you know, fulfill my bucket list since I, <laughs> you know, dreamed of since I was a kid. All right, so that's, thank you very much for your time, and uh, good luck to your rest of your training. Thank you so much. All right, welcome to Santino Brothers. Go ahead and introduce you. yourself for us. Uh, my name is Fernando Rodriguez. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Wilmington, California and I'm here to learn wrestling, professional wrestling. And you are in the beginner's course, is that right? I am. All right, what's the training been like for you so far? Uh, it's been intense, but I like that because that's why I'm here. I'm here to learn uh, whatever they need to teach me, I'm gonna do, you know, learn my craft, master my craft, you know, I'm here to learn as much as I can. You know, it's been incredible for me so far because I love this, so. All right, have you done anything comparable to this kind of, kind of training regimen? Uh, when I was in high school, I did students run LA, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of cardio, Work it, working, you know, workout, but uh, this has been more physical. This has been an all-around uh, physical, you know, environment. It's mm -hmm. not just running, so uh, kind of, but not really. This has been more intense, which is good. <laughs> yeah, it tends to get that way. Yeah. Uh, what made you decide to take part in this? I fucking love wrestling. I, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you know, once you become a fan, you either go all in or you're just half-assed. And I went all in, you know. Uh, life gets in, you know, throws things at you, and then you you find your passion. You find what you want to do. You find a meaning to live, and this is my meaning: is, is wrestling, which is why I'm here. All right. And do you have any particular wrestling inspirations, as far as like personality, ring style, what have you? Uh, can you clarify the question a little more? Um, as far as like capability, what a wrestler does in the ring, or a particular, or if they have a particular style that you're interested mm -hmm. in that you want uh, to try to follow suit on. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna throw out some names just so you can get a, an image of your head of what the kind of style is. Uh, I like Kurt Angles and he who should not be named. Uh, uh, you know, kind of amateur wrestling background. You know, which is great because it's a lot of a lot of technical uh, grappling and a lot of uh, you know hip movement and, and and you know just raw power. I like uh, Eddie Guerrero's smoothness. You know, his 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 you know just how how simplistic and simple he made everything look, even though it was it was masterfully crafted. And uh, that's and Shawn Michaels showmanship. So out of out of those three, that's kind of my ideal philosophy of, of what my wrestling should be. All right. And what are you looking to accomplish during your tenure here? 
to be the best damn wrestler I can be by the time I leave here. That's what I want to accomplish. That's why I'm here. Good to hear that. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, we're recording. All right, welcome to Santino Brothers. Please introduce yourself for us. Hi, I'm Javon McKinney, but I go by Jay, or it's Anish, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Santino Brothers is a good school, man. I'm enjoying everything that I'm, I'm, I'm learning. You know, it's a good process, it's a good curriculum. It's basically, you know, exhilarating, it's exciting. I love it, so yeah. And you're with the beginners course, is that right? Actually, I'm intermediate. Okay. But I am training the beginners. This is just, you know, extra for me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, like okay. That. That's good. So, what's the training been like for you so far? Oh, the training has been strenuous. I mean, you know, like the trainer said, if you think you're going to come over here and learn cool moves, you know, it's, you know, that's not the case. You know, they're going to work you hard. They're going to get you in shape, you know, for like, like a wrestler, like a professional wrestler is in shape, as you see. They're going to get you in that type of shape. So, you know, then then the moves come. You know, you got to get in shape to do this stuff. You got to get the shape, the, the size, the endurance, the form. You know, it's all mechanics. <laughs> and have you been doing anything? Have you done any, anything comparable to this? Anything in the past, as far as physical training goes? As far as physical training goes, uh, yes, I have. Uh, I'm a martial arts practitioner, uh, judo, judo, mm -hmm. jujitsu, blue belt. Uh, done some Taekwondo. Um, I used to work in the Forest Service for about three years from 2002 to 2005. So yeah, I, I'm kind of used to the boot camp training. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so what made you decide to go into wrestling training? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I've been a fan of professional wrestling since I was six years old. So um, I've always been a fan of wrestling. I used to backyard wrestle when I was in high school. Uh, unfortunately, uh, at the time, I graduated in uh, thousand high school uh, there were no schools out here so there not being any schools out here when I graduated I you know I didn't know what to do I mean this school just came out in 2008 2010 so you know saved up some money and uh, decided to go and make a run for it right now there's no time like the present it's better late than never so yes all right and uh, do you have any particular uh, inspirations that you have for as far as wrestling goes the inspirations, uh, yeah, of course. I have, there, there are you know, many wrestlers that inspire me. Um, Rey Mysterio, he's my favorite, and he's my favorite wrestler overall. You know, um, there's Chris Jericho, there's Booker T, there's Bobby Lashley, there's Ron Killings, there's uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, there's Shushin Thunder Liger. Um, I can go into AAA. I can go, to, you know, I can name any Japanese wrestlers here. You know, American. You know, the, the list goes on and on, but I just, just to name a few, yeah, I'm a big fan of Lucha Libre. Uh, I'm a big fan of Strong Style, uh, New Japan, um, uh, Jay Lethal, uh, ROH. I'm a big fan of the Indies as well, too. So, yeah, so I love all, I love the business, period, all the, the works and shoots of it and the magic behind it and everything. It, it inspires me all to be it, you know, to be part of it, basically. So, just six years old. Um, 33 so yeah <laughs> that's awesome to hear um, what do you hope to accomplish during your tenure here what do I hope to accomplish my tenure basically I want to learn the form uh, I just want to learn the form and mechanics and, and I want to perfect the craft I want to perfect the craft and uh, if I can perfect the craft maybe I can go on to you know whichever promotion whichever promotion assigns me I can you know, you know be what I can be I just want to make my mark in the business Everybody's everybody's initial goal, maybe everybody's initial goal is to go to the WWE, but I just want to make my mark in business. So my tenure here is to learn and perfect the craft, and you know somehow organize an unorthodox style of my own that you know that sets me apart from other wrestlers. Period. Other wrestlers that I even that's even inspired me. So you know I want to have a different style. So I just want to do what I can so I can have an unorthodox style so it can be my own style, basically. All right. Thank you very much for your answers. Thank you for your time. No problem. All right. All right. Welcome to Santino Brothers. Please introduce yourself for us. Hello, I'm Joseph Kelly. All right. And you're with the beginners class, is that right? I am at Santino Brothers, yes. All right. So what's the training been like so far for you? It's been intense. Uh, running was decent, but it's mostly the squats and sit-ups that get you after the first couple hundred. <laughs> I imagine so. Uh, have you done anything comparable to it before? Uh, somewhat comparable in uh, Atlanta, Georgia with Mr. WWF, Mr. Curse Huge at their WWA Ford School and with WWE Colin Delaney. 
but uh, this is my primary school right now. All right. So what made you decide to go into wrestling training? Uh, always been interested ever since I was a little kid. See it on the TV, and you know, it's a good way to stay in shape and uh, try to build up your career, your wrestling career. All right. And do you have any particular wrestling inspirations that you go by? Like any favorite wrestlers, any particular uh, wrestling styles that you tr want to try to utilize? No, no, I'm not much of a Libra guy. Pretty uh, a little bigger, more like uh, the Rock Cena, hmm. uh, Lesnar kind of. All right. Anything else you want to add, or? No, I think so. Uh, training's been pretty intense so far. So. All right. And what are you looking to accomplish during your tenure here? Um, to build up all my way to go to the independent wrestling circuit and uh, build my way up from there. Hopefully, a tryout with TNA or WWE in the future. There you go. Always something good to shoot for. Thank okay. you for your time. Hey, no problem. Thank you. All right. Recording and. Welcome to Santino Brothers Wrestling. Please introduce yourself to us. Hi, right, my name is Scott Quinn. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, born and raised here in Southern California. Big wrestling fan since I was a kid. Um, was going into powerlifting, and I was like, you know what? I'm still young. I can still get this done. So I was like, you know what? Transition from powerlifting into wrestling gives me a heads up on people that aren't as strong as I am. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm a, bit, I'm a strong guy. <laughs> So what, you're in the beginner's course, right? Yeah. What's the training been like for you? It's been kicking my ass, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's 100%, I'm, pardon me, part of the language, but it literally, it's it's mentally and physically, you gotta be tough enough to get this done. All right, it's very understandable. Um, you said you mentioned powerlifting before, weightlifting. Yeah. Um, have you done anything else that'd be comparable to what you're doing now? Um, I did football, uh, I was in college football, Hurt my shoulder, didn't get the scholarship that I wanted, but healed up, started lifting again, feel really good, so now I'm back. All right, that's good to see you sticking with it. Yeah. Um, so what made you decide to go into wrestling training in particular? Um, I love acting, and I love being physical, and wrestling, especially professional wrestling, is the best of both worlds. You get to A, act, make people feel something when you're in the ring, whether they hate you or they love you, Make them laugh, make them cry, anything. It, that's just, it's what I'm striving for. And do you have any particular wrestling inspirations that you're looking to follow on that front? Mankind and Goldberg. Very Mankind, good. Mankind, the dude was absolutely insane. His Japanese matches, the Japanese death matches were sadistic, to say the least. And Goldberg was the most intense wrestler I've ever seen come in. I don't care who you are, I don't care what who your favorite fan is, you know intensity, you think Goldberg. All right, good, good, good choices. Um, and what are you looking to accomplish during your tenure here? Um, I want to get as best, I want to become the best me that I possibly can be and take me wherever I can go. Good answer, good answer. Thank you for your time. No, thank you. All right, recording. All right. Welcome to Santino Brothers. Please introduce yourself to us. My name is Neeson, uh, LA, California. I'm uh, artist, rapper, producer, writer, singer, all that, <laughs> and now pro wrestler. Oh, nice. So you keep a pre uh, pretty busy life. Yeah. Uh, you're with the Beginner's Course, is that right? Correct. What's the training been like for you? Um, it's been amazing. It's been intense. It's been testing you physically and mentally, and but it's definitely something that uh, keeps you coming back for more. Definitely, definitely. Um, have you done any kind of physical activity that's been comparable to this? Um, I have. I've done training for Spartan races, so uh, marathons, tri-marathons. Um, I play basketball in high school and after high school and college. So it's similar, but it's not. This is a different type of intensity for sure. <laughs> so what made you decide to go into wrestling training in the first place? Um, I've always been a fan of wrestling. I've done, like, I, I'm a musician and I've also done plays on tour. And so, uh, why not put it all together? Why not do the athleticism, the acting, and uh, you know, the theater? <laughs> there you go. Um, do you have any particular inspirations as far as wrestling capabilities, wrestling style, anything like that? Um, as far as style, I'm a, you know, I'm a small guy, uh, so it's a, it's a lot of guys that I really like, like uh, Chris Benoit and. The Eddie Guerrero's and the Rey Mysterio's and all like the Luchadors, but really, as far as entertainment factor, it's The Rock, of course, and um, Shane McMahon. I think those two, as a kid, Shane. Oh, and 
mean, uh, uh, ah, HBK, but those shaped my wrestling uh, style. Like, where I run right now. All right, and what are you looking to accomplish during your tenure here? Um, to gain as much knowledge as possible. I really want to learn all aspects of the business as far as booking, as far as uh, putting together a match, as far as the promotion side. Um, I just love the business, so I want to learn as much as possible and take it to my next step and you know, gain world titles and walk out with belts. All right, good answer. Thank you for your time.